Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your WAP community and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create a course for your WAP community? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to create a course in your WAP community anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that a lot of times your users ask you for information. So maybe it's good to put one complete course together and available for them. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your WAP account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my WAP account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to go ahead and create a course for your WAP community here on the left side, you're going to click on dashboard. It looks like a rocket. Okay. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and choose the WAP that you're going to add the course to. So for example, I just have this one right here. I'm going to click on it. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to see this menu here on the right and you want to click on manage apps. If you don't see that for some reason, click up here on this button and then click on manage apps. It'll bring you to the same location, right? Once you do that, you're going to see this drop down menu showing all the apps that you have set up in your WAP community, but you want to click on this one here, new app. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and scroll down until you see this kind of purple logo called courses. If you don't see that, you can use the search button and just type in courses. All right. Now it pops up. Just click on it. Okay. Now you can choose to make your course hidden or visible. So if you're going to be putting it together, like what we're doing today, you might suggest to go ahead and put it in draft. That way your users don't see an incomplete course. So I'm going to click on add. Okay. Now the courses app has showed up here on my apps. Okay. Next, what we can do is go ahead and close this out. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to see this right here, begin setup. Let's go ahead and click on there. If you don't see this for some reason, make sure you've clicked on the app up here, courses. Okay, next you wanna click on this button, create your course now. All right, now we can go ahead and choose a name for this course. So make money on YouTube and we'll click on continue. Okay, now you can go ahead and create a tagline for your course. So this is just basically describing what your course is about. Okay, so I named it, learn to make money with YouTube search and click on continue. Okay, so now you can go ahead and write a description about your course. So let me go ahead and just type something in here. Okay, so I'm just writing this out pretty quick. If you need help coming up with an idea, you can always run this through ChatBT and ask them for a description. So I just said, this is a three-day course that shows all I know about how to make money on YouTube. So continue. So now we can go ahead and start putting our course together on WAP. So as you can see, these are set up with chapters and inside each chapter are various lessons. So for example, if we're doing a course on managing a restaurant, maybe chapter one is going to be for, let's go ahead and change this to Chinese food. Okay. And then inside Chinese food, we're going to go ahead and name this lesson. Let's go ahead and name this one Kung Pao. Okay. And then here we're going to go ahead and change over to lesson two and maybe lesson two, we're going to go ahead and name this dumplings. Okay. And then lesson three beef and broccoli. Okay. So what we're doing right now is we're just kind of building out the framework. So inside of this chapter here on Kung Pao, maybe I'm going to go ahead and upload a video right here. So this video would show me making Kung Pao chicken. And then if you have file attachments, so like if you have a PDF that shows all the recipes or the ingredients you need to buy, you would have that right here. And then down here, we can go ahead and just maybe type it out what we're doing today. We are making Kung Pao chicken. Watch the video. Okay. And then that lesson's done. And then when we just go through through each lesson. Now, if we need to add more lessons, we can go ahead and click right here. So maybe we want to go ahead and add a multimedia lesson like what we have. So we can add video, we can add text, or maybe we only want a PDF to be added there. So that's up to you. And let's say we want to do another multimedia and then create. Okay. So now we have a new lesson and we can go ahead and change this lesson name up here. So we'll just do, let's say noodles here. And then you do the same thing. So we'd upload a video for noodles and then type in the recipe down here. And then maybe here we would include a PDF with the ingredients. So now this particular chapter is done. So we have a chapter about Chinese food and then the different dishes. So let's go ahead and create a new chapter. So maybe this new chapter is going to be about, let's say Mexican food. Okay. And then each lesson is going to be its own dish. So we'll do multimedia. Okay. So here's the lesson. So maybe we'll do this particular lesson. Let's scroll up here and name it tacos. And then the next lesson, let's say multimedia as well. And then the next one that we're going to do, let's say burritos. Okay. So now we have tacos right here. So what we would do is just upload a video, maybe describing what tacos are, or maybe showing me making tacos. And then we can do the file attachment. Again, we can go ahead and upload an ingredient list, for example. And then down here, we can go ahead and put in the recipe and the steps. So in this particular course, maybe we're going to have a Chinese food section, a Mexican food section, an Italian food section. Or if you're talking about making money online, maybe we're going to do a YouTube chapter to make money on YouTube. And then the next one, we would do making money in the stock market. And then the next chapter, the third chapter, we would say maybe making money in real estate. Okay. So once you've built out the course, what you're going to do is just click out of it. 
and then it's going to show up right here. So we can go on to overview for my WAP right here. And then we'll click over here to courses. And here is our courses. So we have the Chinese food, Mexican food, and then these new lessons. For some reason that didn't take, let me go ahead and edit that. Okay. So now we have it set up tacos and burritos. Okay. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and add a hero image. So up here on courses, click on this downward arrow and manage app. Okay. So here you can see it's just this purple background. So we can go ahead and upload image. So as you can see, I just changed the back image. Okay. And then here on the right side of your course, you want to go ahead and and adjust this right here. So require lesson completion. So for example, if someone is going to start here at Kung Pao Chicken, they're not going to be able to move on to dumplings until they have completed Kung Pao. So that's really up to you. If you want to leave it off, like it's gray right here, that means they can jump around. So they can jump from Kung Pao Chicken over to burritos if they want to. So let me go ahead and exit out of this. Okay. So once you have your course set up the way that you like it, what you're going to do next is here on the top, you're going to see it's kind of red. That means that it's not live. So we're still in draft mode. So anyone who's in my WAP account, they're not going to be able to see this course. So if we want to make it available, we're going to click here on the right manage and click on manage apps. Okay. So here is our course app right here. You're going to click on edit this little box here next to the trash can. Okay. Now you want to scroll down. You can see it's in draft mode. So we're going to make it visible and then click on save. Okay. Here on the right, you can see it refreshes. Now you can see that the course is available. And if we click out of this up here at the top, that little red button has now been removed. So anyone who is in my WAP, they can go ahead and begin this course on Chinese food and Mexican food. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to put together a course, in your WAP community. That's a quick rundown on how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.